So in today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you guys how to get this look or a similar look or basically just how to kind of get put together and polished really fast. I mentioned to you guys in a recent favorites videos that I had some products that were working really well for me and helping me achieve my goal of kind of looking put together every single day. And in that video, I got tons of comments and requests asking me to do a tutorial on the makeup look that I would create using those products and it's this one. So, so I tend to do this more days than not. Now this is not your five minute face. This is not your, I just got to get out the door girl face. This is like, you got about an hour for yourself. You've carved out an hour in the morning to do like a baby beat, do some hair, a nice skincare routine, just have some you time, how to really get that you time, make the most out of it and create a look that you can still feel really confident and glamorous or whatever in all day. So today we are talking my current skincare routine. Um, we're talking facial devices and we're talking uh, makeup because I actually get all those things done every single day that I do this kind of look. Uh, so we'll get into all of that, but before we get started, make sure you check down bar links on my social media platforms. Thumbs up the video if you enjoy it, subscribe if you're new here. If you are not new here, hey, what's up? How's your mom and them? Isn't that how I used to say it? It's been a long time since I've done the intro. I forgot how it went. This video is going to feature a facial device. I don't normally use facial devices every day. I, the only one I will use even close to every day is my red LED mask because I can just strap it on my face. Ooh, did not like how that sounded for a second there. I could just strap it on my face and um, that's just kind of the beginning and end of it, right? Just put it on, lay down, and that's all she wrote. Every other facial device that I have and I really like, I have to really have the time for, particularly my favorite, which is microcurrent. I love microcurrent. I have never loved microcurrent as much as I love it recently since I was introduced to the Myolift Mini from 70 Wellness. This is a product I featured in a video a few months back. I have been using it nonstop ever since. You guys had a lot of questions about this. A lot of you picked it up. I've actually gotten a lot of my friends turned on to this. My best friend, in fact, was the first person that bought one, almost basically right from underneath me. Um, she came to my house, used it once, pulled out her phone and bought one. And I, she's updated me consistently about how much she loves this thing. And I'm here for it, girl, because I know, I know how great this thing works. The um, main concern though that I did get or question that I got in the video where I talked about this was something to the effect of like, Whitney, this thing looks amazing, but do you recommend this over like the new face? Because you know, my Lift mini looks a little hard to use. And I understand that because a lot of facial devices that you see on the market for consumers are like something you hold in one hand. It's a very easy configuration. So this one, can seem a little intimidating, but I don't want you guys to miss out on how awesome the benefits of microcurrent and particularly 70 Wellness's technology is. So they sent me their other consumer device because they make pro ones as well. And I wanted to talk to you guys about it today. The good news about it is number one, obviously you can tell it's handheld, so it's going to be easier for you to use compared to the Myolift Mini if you're feeling apprehensive about that. Cutie has the exact same amount of micro amps as the big guy. So you're getting the same power, if you will, in a much smaller package. One of the things about Myolift in general that I like and that makes me want to recommend this product to you guys over other microcurrent devices is that it has accessories and attachments that are very valuable and get a lot done, but don't cost the same amount <laughs> as the actual device, which is a very common thing. I know the new face, for example, their other attachments cost about the same amount, if not more than the actual new face. And that to me is not ideal. So what's particularly cool about the Myolift Cutie is that you can still use these things like masks, um, the eye mask and the face or the mouth lip mask in particular, I use today. I just plug them in to this device put them on and then use the app that comes with the Myolip to run any number of programs that I wanna run. Like for example, today I went ahead and did the eye treatment and I did the lip mask treatment. And then I also did the 15 minute face, full face treatment as well. And that still took about as much time as it takes me to do a full Myolip mini treatment. So I don't always have time to do all of these treatments when I am using my microcurrent device, but I've never been able to get noticeable benefits from microcurrent device pretty much daily without it like screwing my schedule up. <laughs> so again, because the benefits of microcurrent are long-term and immediate, I ain't mad about doing it 
almost every day. If it just gives me that little bit of a lift, a little bit of a, you know, pep in my step, it's worth adding into my daily beauty routine. So that's exactly what I've been doing. I find a treatment that I want to do. And because the phone app runs all these different programs for you, you can just pick based on how much time you have, based on targeted treatments you want to do. There's just so many options. You can create your own treatments, lift treatments in here as well. It's amazing. So 70 Wellness is running so many great holiday gift sets right now, and this is one of them. You can actually get the MyoLift Cutie Plus set right now for $299. That's a $400 value. This thing, oh, hi, sorry, I accidentally turned it on. This thing pays dividends over time. You will not regret spending the money on something like this. I'm always telling you guys that I think devices are way better investments, if you will, than product because they give you long-term, long-lasting results that products really don't. And particularly with microcurrent, like no product is going to do what regular use of microcurrent is going to do. So anyway, for $299, you get the MyoLift QT, the conductive gel, the lip mask, the eye mask, the forehead mask. They're gonna throw you in an anti-aging serum, a restorative sheet mask, and the conductive gloves. I haven't even had a chance to try these yet. I don't know any other company that does this that allows you to put gloves on your hands and use them to do a microcurrent treatment with. So that is the Cutie Plus. I just wanted to share it with you guys today. Like I said, you're pro you should be watching a demo. I didn't wanna to try to talk while I was doing that demo because I already have so much to say about this. It would make the video even longer. But I highly recommend you guys, if you did not wanna get the MyoLift Mini that you check out the QD. And then in general, they are running so many holiday specials and I'm working really closely with them for, throughout the end of the year. Stay tuned to my channel and my other socials to hear about all the different gift sets they're running. They have a MyoLift Mini gift set out there for 250 right now. They have um, lots of accessory sets. If you ended up picking up the MyoLift Mini and you didn't pick up any accessories, lots of sets for that are on sale. Definitely check that out. All links are below. I do have a coupon code you guys can use for money off. I just want to thank 70 Wellness for sending me this, working with me, and sponsoring today's video. Um, so now we're going to go ahead and move on to the actual tutorial where I'm going to start my skincare routine because I always do this first, then I do my skincare routine, then makeup. So again, this is kind of a full picture of about an hour beauty sesh with me. So I am going to have a naked face in a three, a two, a one. So after I do my QT treatment for the day, whether it's using the various masks or doing a full blown like glove or targeted treatment, the fact that they're so quick allows me to quickly move on to skincare. I do wash off the conductive gel after I do my QT treatment. So I've recently cleansed my skin using the Osmosis Gentle Cleanser. This is really good for me during the spring, summer time. I'm going to move on to toning and ess essencing, <laughs> using my essence. Again, I change my skincare routine when the seasons change and I kind of took toner and essences out of my skincare routine in the warmer months, kind of because I was being lazy. But now I'm finding that I cannot skip that, skip that stuff anymore and I've been bringing them back. So the toner I've been using lately is the I'm From Rice toner. And for my essence, I'm gonna use the Neogen Micro Ferment, Real Ferment Micro Essence. This is my second bottle of this. This is the anti-age or anti-age line. This is new to me. I typically use the Osmosis Stem Factor Serum, but I just wanted to try something new. And I don't know how I feel about this. It's interesting because you can buy the actual Stem Factor Serum, and then you also can buy this thing called the Accelerator. I bought them together at SkinTruth.com. By the way, that's linked down below. Use my code Whitney20 for 20% off most brands off that site. Because I'm probably gonna have to use multiple bottles to see a result, that's true with most skincare. You might see some immediate effects to your skin, but the real benefits are gonna come in like two to three bottles of any given product. I think, in my experience, that's what I've seen. So I don't know how I feel about this because I miss the Osmosis Stem Factor Serum already. I like the consistency of it. I like the way that it feels. Now, the accelerator is supposed to go with it. I don't know if you have to use them immediately after, but I don't because I wanna use my Osmosis Rescue and this is a little bit thicker than this. This is more of a thin, 
kind of gel light texture and this is almost kind of like a moisturizer. I'll leave some information about Rescue down below because I feel like I never explain what this does very well, but what it does for me in particular is it soothes my skin a lot. My skin can tend to feel, because I use Retin-A, it can feel irritated after a while and things like Rescue and another product I'm gonna show you guys today, really, really helps with it. So I've always got this in rotation. Now that I have my rescue on, I'm going to go ahead and put the accelerator on from Ante Aji. I know that it's not pronounced anti-age. I just know it's not. Next, I'm going to put on my eye serum from Neogenesis. Doesn't this, isn't this cool? It's kind of like a little injection. But what I like about this in particular, you can tell how much I've used of it because I'm running out. Uh, first of all, I like that I can see how much I have. And second of all, I like this delivery system or whatever because it really helps me control how much of the product I'm using. And eye serums, eye creams, all of those things are pretty new in my skincare routine. So I can't say right now how well this stuff is working. I think it's gonna take a couple of, you know, months or so to really see those big time effects. But on the immediate side, I have noticed a lot less puffiness with the eyes. Um, and my lines, fine lines and wrinkles around my eyes do seem a little bit less noticeable. But again, it's too early to know for sure. So far, I do really like this though. And then my moisturizer. This is the Sente Dermal Repair Cream. I love this stuff. Uh, I just got the Ultra Repair or the basically the more emollient one. This is like a moisturizer. I mean, it is a moisturizer, but it has a lot of active ingredients in it that are really good for your skin. And I typically don't spend a lot of money on moisturizers because I just, I don't know. I don't have a lot of expectations for them. I have expectations for hydrators and a moisturizer does play a role in my skincare routine, but moisturizer to moisturizer, I don't really notice a whole lot of differences in how they perform. This one has stuff in it that is actually doing things for your skin. The main differences I'm noticing with this is less, less redness in my skin and it does really help. Like it seriously feels like my skin is just acting more hydrated. And then last, I'm gonna do my eye cream. This is the SkinCeuticals AGE Eye Complex. So the first video that I mentioned, my kind of get ready routine that I was doing, I talked about these products as kind of being like a, a gateway into this new routine because I love them so much. These are basically medium to full coverage, depending on how much you wanna build it, foundations that have amazing ingredients in them and are your SPF. I have been so much better about two things since I started using this product. The first thing is wearing SPF every day. And the second thing is doing my makeup every day <laughs> because once I put this on, my skin looks so pretty right out the gate and I've like done a skincare step and I just, I don't know how to explain it. Once I put this on, I'm like, I might as well just keep going. And then I just started adding things in that made this routine faster and faster. Somebody DM'd me the other day and asked how I apply these. I use my fingers and that's why I'm not gonna bother doing my brows yet because then I have to try to like get around the brows all specifically and such and you know blah, 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 blah. and it's one of those that comes out completely white when it comes out of the bottle like so do you see it right there on my middle finger and then as you start to rub it into your skin it adjusts to your skin tone which is amazing So this is like one layer of it, if you will. I am gonna try to find a happy medium of what I would do in real life in terms of like amount of coverage uh, versus what I have to do when I'm filming for you to be able to see anything. So this is what I would do in real life. I would just put on like one like kind of sheer layer of this, if you will, and then start concealing. But since I'm on camera, I'm gonna put a smidgen more just in the center of my face, like this little breakout, this awkward breakout right here on my cheek and I hurt it. So I'm trying to cover that up a little bit more.
Last night I got my brows tinted, laminated, and waxed. This is like the second time I've done it. The first time I did it, I immediately fell in love with kind of how quick it made doing my brows. My issue with my brows has always been that I don't have a lack of brow hair. I just have light colored brows that go straight down so they look really invisible and um, like I don't have any. So this is kind of a good vibe for me because initially I was thinking maybe I would even get microblading done, but I feel like this is, this is fine. This does what I need it to do. So I'm just gonna fill in my brows and I'm gonna do that just kind of creating more hair like strokes really roughly again this is everyday makeup I'm on camera so I'm really struggling with not trying to make everything super perfect but whatever I'm just gonna take the concealer that I'm going to be using on the rest of my face and kind of start putting it on my eyelid I'm gonna put it underneath my eye all the places I would normally conceal and highlight the main difference between this wow that is light Ooh. I don't know why this is so light, so I'm gonna mix it with a darker concealer. But anyway, this is kind of the opposite of the way I do my makeup when I'm trying to, you know, do it really well. I do my kind of contour bronzing cream situation and conceal last, but again, this is just the faster way to do it. So I'm just gonna conceal all the places I normally would and blend it out with a beauty sponge. Okay, next I'm gonna go in with these shadow sticks. The biggest tip I can give you with these and that I learned the hard way is you don't wanna apply them to any powder, which seems like common sense and it's kind of one of the more basic rules of makeup is don't try to apply a cream on top of a powder. But I felt like I still needed to set my eyelid before I moved on with this because if I don't, my eyelid just looks creasy and weird and I really don't have to, as it turns out, because eventually through the process of blending these cream shadows all over my eyelid, eventually it starts to just mattify it enough anyway. So that's the first tip. And the second tip I would give is just to work really slowly with them because in particular with the Bobbi Brown ones, they dry pretty quickly and they set, man, they're going nowhere. So you have to work in small amounts but I think the benefit of them, outside of the fact that I truly believe they're just a thousand times quick, quicker to use, is that they look like, it's like they blend themselves. I almost feel like I've been doing things the way, way, way harder way for years by not just trying to use as many creams or like cream shadow sticks as I can. So normally what I do is go in with like one brush to lay it down and another brush to soften it. So right now I am mixing Bobbi Brown Taupe and Nude Beach together on a Smith brush. I can't even see the number anymore. And as far as the actual technique I'm using, really all I'm doing is starting in my, like the outer corner and working my way down that's all I do and then I kind of bring it in and soften it if you guys want to see more about the shape I create on my particular eyes um, I will definitely leave playlists down below about hooded eyes and eyeshadow tips and all of that kind of stuff I have lots of playlists about or lots of videos about it and they're actually my most popular videos are my eyeshadow videos there is nothing too perfect happening right now. I'm just laying down a transition color. Next, I'm gonna go in with Bro Bobbi Brown's Simonin, uh, Simonin, I can't say it, on a Wayne Goss number three brush. And another tip I'll give you is to always hit the back of your hand with these before you go in. Makes them much easier to control. And I'm again just starting in this outer corner and kind of just feathering it over. Going in with another brush to blend. I just realized I keep putting this mirror in y'all's face. I apologize. Lastly, I'm gonna take the Laura Mercier Caviar Stick in the color Coco and this kind of little brush from Sigma, they don't make this anymore. You'd have to find something that's just smaller than all the other brushes you've used to go in with the darkest color that you're going to go in with. Again, watch my eyeshadow videos, they're very helpful. And I'm gonna just put this in the most 
the most outer corner. I'm going to quickly apply a little bit of liquid liner and move on to lashes and we'll talk a little bit about getting ready quickly and the lash journey that I've been on in a second. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my lash glue on my lashes. My lashes are not brand new. They're lashes I have worn many, many times. I keep them in this little box and that way when I'm ready to put them on, I don't have to go through the hassle. Like, the hassle of breaking in a new lash. Once they are at this point, they're just super easy to pop on. But while I'm waiting for them to dry and I'm applying my mascara, I wanna tell you what I was hoping would be happening for the lashes, and that is that I would be wearing lash extensions. So like the journey towards this video started a long time ago because I wanted to test out some different methods that would make me getting ready every day, which is something I kind of talk a lot about on my channel easier to do. And I, I didn't want it just to be like, you know, a five minute phase because I already know how to do that. I know how to like throw myself together and run out the door. But just, you know, if I wanted to have a little bit more intention and time and just feel a little, little, little type of way about myself, that type of makeup routine. Um, that started with the brows and also with getting lash extensions. I got two different sets. I liked both of them. The problem was I did not like the way that they looked on camera. In person, I really loved them and they were such an awesome solution to that problem because I would just put on a little bit, like pretty much my face, my actual complexion makeup I'm gonna show you guys today, and then maybe some bronzer in the crease, and that was all I had to do. The lashes really did make a huge difference in person, but for some reason on camera, and having to look at them all the time, like in this viewfinder, I could not do it. I hated the way they looked on camera. I would say that if you can get lash extensions, if it's a good option for you, that's obviously a super easy way to get ready quickly. I am considering getting back on my lash serum game for a little while and then trying to do something like a lash lift. I've also considered testing out Lashify. You guys know that like, kind of like at home lash extension system. My lash journey here is not over. Next I'm gonna take the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Finish Powder and just set my under eye area basically anywhere that has not set already from the time that it took me to do my eyes, which I, can, I promise you guys when I'm doing this off camera, this whole routine to include my microcurrent, my skincare, my makeup, my hair, and putting clothes on, I can do it all in like an hour. And that sounds long to you guys, I know. But that's really quick for me, especially considering like I feel really pulled together in that hour, and I don't think that hour is a lot to take considering what I get out of it. But talking about it while I'm making a video is obviously a little different. For my lower lash line, I'm gonna take the Bobbi Brown Shadow Stick and the color Scent. <laughs> and this brush from Morphe, it's the JH something. If it's still available, I'll link it below. And I'm just going to start putting this underneath my lash line. This is so much quicker than building up all those powder shadows, which I think is ultimately kind of the benefit of these creams as a whole is just that it makes doing your makeup, your eye makeup especially, so freaking fast. Like there's no contest. And I'm just gonna blend that edge out. I'm gonna take that cocoa stick and kind of a little smudgy brush and put this mostly on the outer corner of the eye. I'm gonna take the brown in this Tom Ford palette and just kinda build up the intensity a little more. Small little things you can do to make getting ready faster. One of them I will say is creating some sort of everyday makeup bag or section of your vanity. I'm speaking specifically to my beauty junkies who have just piles of this stuff. The more time you have to spend rooting through things, the longer it takes you to get ready. In fact, I have been consistently purging my collection. For a couple of years now, I'm still not done. Can you believe it? And I wanna get it down to a, like such a small, perfect amount of stuff, high quality, high performing, 
my favorites because I enjoy being able to kind of throw myself together more often than I used to. I really only used to put even remotely this much effort into my appearance when I was filming. And I only film once or twice a week and that's just, we can do better than that. I just feel a little better when I can get gussied up some. So tricks like paring down my stash, also dealing with smaller palettes. For shades I need that are powder, I'm only gonna use out of this small four pan palette that I have in my hand. And then even when it comes down to my complexion that I'm gonna do later, I have a face palette that I've been using. It's actually like the pro artist in me. When you have a makeup kit, you don't wanna lug, I mean, I've learned this the hard way. You don't wanna lug around everything you have. You just want to be able to do quick stuff with a small amount of things. It's kind of like cooking, like whipping something up. <laughs> This is the Charlotte Tilbury uh, Supermodel Face Palette. I've been using it a lot. I use it almost every day because again, things are just in here, ready to go. And I'm just gonna contour up the areas I would normally put a little structure to. But the name of this game is Quick. I just really like the formula. I don't know if this is being sold anymore because this was a collection, but if you guys can still get it, I do recommend it. For blush, I'm going to use Gilda from NARS. I don't know if this was ever permanent. I've just had it for a million, million years, don't judge me. I've just been really into bright blush lately. I've never really been about that life, but I'm feeling very adventurous blush wise. And this has just been my favorite powder one. Whenever I'm doing like a full face of makeup and I'm using creams and being really precise and taking my time, it's this blush from Rare Beauty that I love so much. I can't even remember, whoa, it's called Joy. Joy! I'm gonna take the highlighter in this palette and just kind of pop it in all my favorite spots to highlight, Gavna. Okay, I'm actually gonna turn the camera off and do my hair and then I will come back and do lips and we will wrap this up. For lipstick, I'm doing Christian Audette and Gigi Good. Uh, their collab, the lipstick is called Good. For the lip liner, I'm using Charlotte Tilbury Iconic Nude. And for lip gloss, I'm doing Buxom Dolly. Usually though, like nine times out of 10, I just wear lip gloss or lip balm. Like if I'm not on camera or needing to take a selfie for the thumbnail later, I probably would just wear lip balm. All right guys, so this is kind of the finished look. Um, this is very typical for something that I would do on a regular basis. Almost every day I put some version of this look together. The most minimal I go now is probably the sunscreen that we talked about today and maybe some lip gloss, blush, and some brows, and that's it. But even that I don't do as much as this now because this is so quick and easy. So. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, thank you to the patrons. I would like to make this a series as I continue to try out other tips, tricks, and hacks that make getting kind of gussied up a little bit more approachable and realistic for as many days a week that you can swing. Because like I said, I could easily put together just the bare minimum and feel a little more polished, but I also some days or more days than not just kind of want to feel, you know what I'm saying? So anyway, I would love to do videos about that. If you guys have suggestions, um, for products or tips and tricks or hacks that make getting kind of glam faster and easy, let me know. I would love to do a series on it. But other than that, I hope you guys are having an amazing day and I will catch you in the next one. Bye.